the use of computer-based models to predict the behavior of mechanical systems under different conditions. Manufacturing process, the steps involved in producing a product, from raw materials to the finished product, which is the use of computer software and systems to control and automate manufacturing processes. The study of friction, wear, and lubrication between interacting surfaces in relative motion. The branch of physics that studies the behavior of fluids at rest and in motion. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're diving into the world of mechanical engineering, or just curious about what it's all about, today's video is for you. We're going to break down 50 essential terms every mechanical engineer should know. So, whether you're a student, a professional, or just a tech enthusiast, stick around as we explore these crucial terms and their meanings. Let's get started. Mechanical Engineering the branch of engineering that deals with the design, analysis, and manufacturing of mechanical systems. Static, the branch of mechanics that focuses on analyzing forces and their effects on bodies at rest or in equilibrium. Dynamic, the branch of mechanics that deals with the study of forces and their effects on objects in motion. Force, a push or pull that can change the state of motion of an object. Torque. Measure of the rotational force applied to an object. Stress. In mechanics, it is defined as the force exerted per unit area within materials. Strain. In mechanics, it is defined as the measure of deformation or the amount of change in the shape or size of a material due to the applied stress. Material science. It is the interdisciplinary field that studies the properties, behavior, structure, and performance of materials. Thermodynamics, the branch of physics that deals with the study of energy, heat, and their transformations. Heat transfer, the process by which thermal energy moves from a hotter object or substance to a cooler one. Fluid mechanics, the branch of physics that studies the behavior of fluids at rest and in motion. Aerodynamics, the study of the behavior of air as it interacts with solid objects, especially when those objects are in motion, such as aircraft, cars, and buildings. Vibration, refers to the oscillating or repetitive motion of an object or system around a central point or equilibrium position. Tribology, the study of friction, wear, and lubrication between interacting surfaces in relative motion. Friction, the force that resists the relative motion or tendency of such motion between two surfaces in contact. Potential energy, the energy that is stored in an object or system due to its position, condition, or configuration. Kinetic energy, the energy an object possesses due to its motion. Mechanism, refers to a system of parts working together in a machine or device to perform a specific function or task. Differential equation, it is an equation that involves one or more functions and their derivatives. Kinematics, the branch of physics that deals with the study of motion without considering the forces that cause the motion. CAD, CAD stands for Computer Aided Design which refers to the use of computer software to create, modify, analyze, or optimize designs. CAM, COM stands for computer-aided manufacturing, which is the use of computer software and systems to control and automate manufacturing processes. FEA, stands for finite element analysis, which is a numerical method used to solve complex problems in engineering and physics, particularly for structural, thermal, fluid, and electromagnetic simulations. CFD stands for Computational Fluid Dynamics, which is a branch of fluid mechanics that uses numerical methods and algorithms to solve and analyze problems involving fluid flows. Young's modulus, also known as the elastic modulus or modulus of elasticity, is a fundamental material property that measures the stiffness of a material in response to tensile or compressive forces. Hooke's law, 
a fundamental principle in physics and engineering that describes the relationship between the force applied to a material and the resulting deformation. Torsion, refers to the twisting or rotational deformation that occurs in an object when a torque or rotational force is applied along its length. Fatigue. The progressive and localized structural damage that occurs when a material is subjected to repeated or fluctuating stresses. Creep. The gradual and time-dependent deformation of a material under a constant load or stress. Manufacturing process. The steps involved in producing a product, from raw materials to the finished product, including casting, welding, and machining. Shear strength, the ability of a material to resist shear stress, which is the force per unit area acting parallel to the surface of the material. Tensile strength, the maximum amount of tensile stress a material can withstand before it breaks or fractures. Welding, fabrication process that involves joining two or more materials, typically metals or thermoplastics, by causing coalescence through the application of heat, pressure, or both. Pascal's Law, when a change in pressure is applied to an enclosed fluid, it is transmitted undiminished to all portions of the fluid and to the walls of its container. Pneumatic, refers to systems or devices that use compressed air or gas to transmit and control energy. Hydraulic, systems refer to technologies that use pressurized fluids, typically oil or water, to transmit and control energy. Thermal expansion, refers to the tendency of matter to change in shape, area, and volume in response to a change in temperature. Heat exchanger, it is a device used to transfer heat between two or more fluids, liquids, gases, or a combination of both, at different temperatures. Carnot cycle, it is a theoretical thermodynamic cycle that describes the most efficient possible heat engine cycle. Rankine cycle, it is a thermodynamic cycle that is widely used to model the operation of steam power plants and other heat engines where heat is converted into mechanical work. Refrigeration, it is a process that removes heat from a space or substance to lower its temperature and maintain it at a desired level. Condenser, it is a heat exchanger device that convert a gas or vapor phase into a liquid. Compressor, it is a mechanical device used to increase the pressure of a gas or vapor by reducing its volume. Nozzle, it is a device designed to control the flow, direction, or speed of a fluid, liquid or gas. Power consumption, refers to the amount of energy used by an electrical device, system, or process over a given period of time. Load, in mechanical and electrical engineering, the term load generally refers to the force, weight, or electrical demand placed on a system or component. Displacement, it is a fundamental concept in physics and engineering that refers to the change in the position of an object. Gear ratio, the ratio of the number of teeth on two gears that are meshed, determining the mechanical advantage in a system. Lubrication, the process of applying a substance like oil, grease, etc. to reduce friction and wear between mechanical parts. Simulation. The use of computer-based models to predict the behavior of mechanical systems under different conditions. I hope you found this video helpful in understanding the fundamental concepts of the field. If you have any questions or if there's a term you want me to explain further, leave a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. Don't, don't forget to hit the like button if you found this useful. Subscribe for more engineering content, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.